Let's talk about parallel projections. So why start with this? Well, these are the fundamentals of technical drawing, which is the problem solving rational part of architecture and of architectural drawing. You will obviously become a better problem solver from understanding this and uh, you will develop quite stronger spatial vision. So what are parallel projections? Okay, so we don't have perspective points here. Parallel lines stay parallel. It's a type of drawing that doesn't exist in real life. There's two categories, triple projections and axonometrics. Triple projections are 2D projections. Okay, so for a triple projection, you've got a frontal view, a top view and a side view all working together. For an axonometric, this is obviously a 3D technical drawing. It's um, related to a coordinate system, obviously, just like the uh, triple projection. It's, and because it's a volume, it can benefit from really interesting cast shadows. So let's see how to draw a parallel projection. So first construction and contour lines, and then uh, we'll thicken the important lines. So let's draw a cube and triple projection starting now. So how does a, a cube look in triple projection and axonometric along with cast shadows, right? So do the triple projection thing, a four centimeter cube, just anywhere. Measure four centimeters here. get a 45 degree something or get a compass take the points from here and take them here vertical now we need to thicken O, X, Y, Y double, Z. Let's go for the axo, right next to it. Just a line, measure eight centimeters. Go parallel with the axes. All right. Measure four centimeters again. Go for the vertical. And this is a Cuban axon the metric. And this is missing here, this part. Right, so how do we do the shadows? 60 degrees in a horizontal. And the horizontal. And now we just construct the shadow by connecting these three dots. And now let's thicken this. Right, and how about hatching? Well, we need to start from here.
yeah, darken this part here. Darken this edge, and darken this one. Maybe just a bit more. Alright. Just smudge a bit, but it's fine. For the last finishing bits, get the triangle sharpen these lines as well one more time okay boom next okay so let's take things to the next level obviously the next level is descriptive geometry where we are going to fry our brain to learn a lot of cool stuff we can go really far down the rabbit hole with this and you will learn stuff that's very very interesting and uh, it's going to challenge you quite a bit. You can obviously get very interesting uh, technical drawings and you can obviously have uh, some graphics to your technical drawings as you see on the right hand side. On the left hand side we've got a couple of planar changes and um, you know wrapped volumes and stuff like that. Okay so if you like this lesson don't forget to comment in the comment box below. I've attached a link to the lesson in full so you can go and uh, see it on a replay. Let's get to rocking these drawings.